you are putting it. There is a serious decline if you look at the number of registered voters in 2017 as compared to 2022. What could be some of the reasons? Uh, maybe some of the reasons that people did not go to to either check their their voters uh, status or they did not go to register, especially the new ones. If they didn't go to register as many as uh, uh, what was expected, and I don't know how did they expect, how did they calculate to say in 2017 we had this and in 2022 we shall have this. So the process of uh, doing the estimates, are you sure those? those estimates were correct otherwise we we have a good we have a good a good figure if you have 22 million <coughs> registered and if 50 or is 80 percent of them vote then we have a credible uh, election my worry would not be that much in terms of the numbers going down because maybe people did not go to to register uh, people were discouraged because of what happened in 2017 but if they do correct it then 2027 then we shall be better. But my worry is that the presidential votes, in fact, it was not so much so for the MCA vote, for the governor's vote, because it was physical and people were there, they were, especially in, in terms of counting and confirming. But the presidential votes, what happens this year? We want to hear what happened this year from the polling station, immediately after the polling, what happens to the presidential votes? Are they going to be electronic, like they said? With that, I know they have said what confirmation. Uh, are they going to be physically somebody moving from one county to the central uh, telling station? Will they wait until everybody has brought all those results before the mm -hmm. final body? So those are some of the questions that are going around. And uh, we, we are seeing they should come very clear and show a demonstration of what can happen to a vote of Hamisi from Mombasa all the way to be counted at the national polling, national counting station. Because that will demonstrate that my vote will count. So there are so many worries that are there. And the yeah. IBC have a good, have a big job to do to convince us that these elections will be fine, mm. fair, and credible.